Hi guys, it's Jessie here and in today's video, I'm going to share seven major shifts, energy shifts that are going to happen in 2020 uh, so that you can figure out for yourself if you want to jump on that train to get those benefits as well or not. <laughs> so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive right into this video. Now guys, 2020 is bringing in such vast and beautiful, magical energy that is going to change and shift a lot of things. But there are seven major pointers uh, in 2020, and it's up for you to decide whether you want to benefit from these energies or not, but they're going to happen. And if you align yourself bit by bit with all these energies, you're going to have an amazing year. However, everyone, everyone is going to be affected by these energies. So now the first major energy shift that is coming up for 2020 is for entrepreneurs. And I said this a lot <laughs> in my videos uh, from uh, last month. Um, so many of you who have been watching my videos, for you, this is not strange, it's not new. But there is a major shift coming up for entrepreneurs. It's going to be an amazing year for starters, especially, but also entrepreneurs in general. And it doesn't mean that you have to have your own business to be called an entrepreneur, because in a way of the spiritual awakening, everyone is an entrepreneur. Everyone is able to create their life and shift their life the way they want it to be. So we're talking to every single one of you guys who feel this need to align themselves with their divine life bad. You're going to awake and feel this energy within you that maybe you want to create something, change uh, something in your life, but really shift into aligning yourself with your divine life bad. So that is why I'm saying 2020 is going to be a really, really important year for entrepreneurs. And in a material sense, it's going to be a really important year for entrepreneurs, starters especially, who are starting to build their business, but are waiting for certain connections or maybe a little bit of growth. It's going to happen really fast for you guys this year. And it's all about aligning yourself bit by bit with every energy that you see, but also being able to pick up on opportunities that are coming your way. And the way you can do this throughout this whole year, and it's, it's starting from this point on to the end of the year, it's about listening to your intuition. It's about connecting within and truly feeling whenever something is coming on your path and that you're able to get that to truly benefit from every opportunity, possibility that might come your way. Everything is within your reach. But this also applies to entrepreneurs, so life-changing um, stuff. If you really want to change your life, if you really want to create a different life for yourself, whether it is you want to change your career or change your family life or anything within that, you have to start seeing, believing that you are an entrepreneur and this creator in your life. So you have the power to change all of that. And for so many, this power um, hasn't been there or you are maybe unable to feel it and truly let this power guide you. That is actually going to change in 2020. 2020, you're going to feel this lion awakening within you, filling you with this power and energy that's going to build your faith for you to take that leap of faith, to truly change and rearrange things in your life. So that is why 2020, this first shift that's coming up to entrepreneurs, to creators, is going to be major because it's going to change the way we define our life, the things that we find important in life and how we want to rearrange and balance out those things. So for so many years, the material factors have been dominant and creating all our economy. And it's going to shift again to find a balance because the spirituality, the spiritual time for yourself both are equally important. So that is the first shift that so many are going to notice. The second shift, is that you are going to become more of yourself. You're going to 
really tap into your own authenticity. So that means that for so many, and I mean, it's all about also the society that we live in, that we always feel like we need to keep an appearance. But slowly, this movement is coming in and it's going to be uh, a more, or it's going to prevail more in 2020, is how to really be authentic and how we can start to be authentic again. And this is a really, really powerful energy that is going to prevail in 2020, which is going to be the fuel to change your life. Because when you become aware of what you are, what you truly are, and what you truly desire, it could be that you realize that it's not matching the way that you're living your life at this moment. So that is why this burst of energy that has been coming in slowly, but is going to prevail in 2020 to become more active and to uh, advocate for your own right, for your own belief, but especially for who you really are, is going to shift so, so many things in 2020. Now, the major shift, number three, that is going to happen um, is actually within love. And I've been getting this for a long, long time, uh, but a twin flame, and this has been like an upcoming um, love story for years, but it's actually dominating the whole culture of soulmate and everything. And I'm feeling like 2020, there's going to be a change within that because more stories from Twin Flame will enter the world and may maybe shift the perception and how people see Twin Flame. Now, I don't know really how this is going to happen because I'm not getting the clear details on that. But what I'm getting is that the Twin Flame story is more and more coming out and shifting into the true reality or the true truth about it. Because the thing is, so many people are experiencing this twin flame relationship, but we actually don't know until we know things. Um, so when all of these experiences come together and you see like some kind of like, uh, how do you say it? that things align with each other? the truth kind of like comes out. We're able to define what it actually is. So I'm feeling like more and more, this is going to come out and it's going to shape that reality into that love relationship. And it's going to change a little bit how we see all of these relationships. And again, uh, it's going to change how we see love and how we define love and what we want in love, bit by bit, piece by piece, how it's actually working and what we need to learn. That is it. We're going to, slowly as I'm talking about it, I'm like getting more information, but we're actually going to figure out maybe how these relationships are working and what we need to learn from these relationships as we did on how or what we had to learn about soulmates. And this is going to get a little bit more also for Twin Flames. Now staying in that Twin Flame uh, section, um, what I'm getting for 2020 as well is that a lot of Twin Flames are going to reunite in 2020. And it might not be for the purpose that you have in mind. It might not be maybe, maybe even for relationships. But so many are going to come together for different reasons. Because the bottom of line of Twin Flames is that you're helping each other throughout this whole journey. Learning and balancing and mirroring each other. It's all about learning. So, so many Twin Flames have to work together to get their task out, to present their task to the world. So while so many are focusing on this love relationship that Twin Flames have, it goes beyond that because Twin Flames have to come together to really um, make a difference in this world. And it doesn't matter how small or how huge this difference is going to be, 
but it's about awakening us and letting us learn new things and giving us insight into more stuff. So, um, so many twin flames are going to come together in 2020 for various, many reasons that we cannot think of at this moment. But know that when it's, when it's going to happen to you, you're going to get those signs and everything is going to be divinely guided. And in the end, you will know what you have to do, what your test together is. Whether it is to have a relationship, whether it is to co-create together, it really doesn't matter because when it happens, you're going to get that peace within you. You're going to be able to really focus on your divine life path. Then guys, a major shift number five, which is going to happen in 2020, is the way we speak our truth. Now, so many of us have been keeping our truth because we feel like we don't want to make a fuss or, you know, just our truth would be just minimum because it's only one person speaking out and so on. So many reasons that we can just think of just to not speak our truth. And even in small family gatherings to huge public displays, Sometimes we choose not to speak our truth for many reasons, but in 2020, this is going to change because of this force that we're going to feel within us. We're going to have that strength to speak our truth. And it's not on, you know, and then we don't have to speak our truth because da 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 da, but we're going to learn how we can bring our truth into this world without really causing a fuss without really, you know, damaging anything because that is sometimes most likely the reason why we keep the truth to ourselves. Whether it is like small things that we've done and really uh, don't want to tell the truth about or just something about our identity or, you know, it could be anything. But in 2020, we're going to learn that we are important as well. And with that comes out that we're able to speak our truth. And we're going to learn that more and more in 2020 on how to really bring the truth to people um, in a really great way so that people can truly understand what we're saying. And it's up actually to them eventually to accept it or not. That is something that we can never ever have influence over, but we can also choose to speak our truth in a really gentle and kind way. So that is going to happen a lot more in 2020. And that is because, as I said at the beginning of this video, we are just diving and connecting with our authentic power, with our authentic self, our higher self. So we want to let people know who we truly are. And our truth matters. So that is going to be a really big shift in 2020 that might shift and really cause maybe a little distress because not only we, you know, little YouTubers or you uh, are going to say something, but also major people who have like really huge influence are going to uh, share things that really might shift the way we see things or open up doors for us. So that is one of the big things that I feel coming up for 2020. Now, the sixth major energy that is going to happen in 2020 is on how we use sh social media. Now, there has been like a controversy on so social media and how we uh, bring social media into our life and what we do with it. But let us first say that social media is really not something that that's however my perspective on it it's the way you use social media that that can really influence or you know give it a bad vibe but social media is something that is really powerful if you use it right it's a platform to reach so many and do so many good things uh, with it and that is actually something that we're seeing more and more and it will continue more and more in 2020 People are go going to shift this social media platform, which is kind of like I'm saying in this controversy that people are like, is it good? Is it bad? Uh, how well is it for your image? Uh, you know, your self image, how you feel about yourself because so many influencers are posting like, ooh, this is my life, but it's not truly that because, you know, it's giving the bad uh, image for younger people. 
And that's actually going to change so, so many more because, as I said, are becoming more authentic in 2020, are going to share as well more authentic messages. And this is going to shift how we see but also use social media. And remember, I mean, everything that we put in this world has a good and a bad side. It's always maybe going to be like that. That's just how we are. We know we're, we're two-sided. We're yin and yang. So that is always going to be it. But it's how you let this define you and how you choose to use social media that is going to make a difference. And in 2020, it's going to shift a lot more. Now, also, guys, in the last shift, major shift that is going to happen in 2020, it's going to be the divine feminine energy that is going to give this 2020 a mark. So it doesn't mean that you have to be a woman to influence or have influence in this divine feminine energy. It's about your divine feminine quality that you have within you that, that is going to define 2020. Now, I'm going to specify this. I'm going to take a business example because those are easy. But if you're a leader in any type of business, you are going probably to shift in 2020 and see the benefits on approaching things on a more emotional balanced level because so so many years the uh female uh, i mean sorry the male energy has been so so dominant it was all about like hard work go there and this and that and as i said at the beginning of this video we're trying to shift that balance so we want a life that you know that we can be our authentic self but still work and still have those qualities so that is going to be an ongoing discussion in 2020 how we can balance that out because more and more divine feminine energy is coming through and saying like we've done this too too long just you know um allowing the masculine energy to dominate but it's time to figure out that balance and we're going to see these shifts especially in business, but also at home. More and more female energy is coming through and asking for that balance and asking for their power and reclaiming that power. So as I say, you don't have to be a female to let the divine feminine energy go through and allow you to become a better leader or, or anything. Uh, this is just an example. But these are things that are actually going to happen in 2020. And it's going to really shift how we see the business world and how we can still make little changes to make it better so we can find a balance again. So 2020 is going to be a start of that and maybe a huge part of 2020 is going to shift a lot of these energies because more and more people want the divine feminine energy to come through in business but also at home and to balance out that uh, masculine energy that has been dominating our economy for years now this is not something bad guys i'm saying guys but <laughs> just in general here this is not something bad because everything the yin is in yang is about balancing. So when something is dominating, it's never good. It's about finding the balance between both energies. And sometimes it goes, you know, left and right and it goes on and on until we find like a bit of a balance and peace, what we're all searching for. So if you are feeling these energies and if you jump and align yourself with this energy you're going to have an amazing year because you'll be able to benefit from all of these opportunities that will come your way because of these energies so guys i hope that this video will help you out throughout 2020 if you have any comments or questions be sure to leave that in the comment box down below also if you are feeling like another major shift is coming and you would love to share it with me and other YouTubers, leave that also in the comment box down below. For now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!